Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Sin. Now I'm coming at you with another video talking about Honkai Star Rail. Now, I have went on a bit of a hiatus on talking about anything that I can about Honkai Star Rail because I've been trying to focus more about Wuthering Waves, like any ounce of information that comes out for it, any form of like uh, drama or any event or something that's coming out for the game that's going to be later. And I want to go ahead and just talk about anything or any else about it because I kind of want Wuthering Ways to be like the main focus on this channel because I've been waiting for such a long time for that game to come out. So for me being able to be in the CBT2 is pretty good, but I kind of want to go on a break for it because I've been playing Wuthering for like a very long time, pretty much like ever since that CBT2 first came out. And I kind of want to get to the point where I'm not burnt out playing this game. Because I know that all my data that I'm doing during the CBT2 right now is going to be deleted. So that's one of the reasons why I kind of want to take a break from playing the game. I don't want to explore it as much as I was at first. Because all the data and everything that I did is once again is going to be deleted. So I don't want to waste my time doing that. But talking about with Honkai Star and back to the title of this video. The reason why I titled this video this way, because I honestly don't believe that Honkai Star Rail in itself has peaked, but I really don't think they could possibly find something that could top the Ethereum Wars that was in version 1.4. But hey, I may be color surprised because I didn't think they were going to be able to give us like a free doctor ratio after the conundrum that was with Genshin Impact for playing that game for like a long time and then Honkai Impact 3rd as well. I didn't think they was going to give us a free 5 star and so we'll know. They may be able to bring up something. But I had this thought that been going around for like a very long time in the back of my head on like an idea about what they can possibly do to be able to top version 1.4 of Genshin of Honkai Star Rail. And I'm sure you guys as well have been seeing many, many clips and images and pictures of this specific event that they have already proven that they thought about it because it could be a pretty good idea. So let me go ahead and show you to it and you'll be able to understand what I'm trying to get to. Now, I'm sure you guys seen bunches and bunches of trailers of this, but this is what I really want you guys to see. Like, now, for the rest of you, you may see that be like, oh, it's just like an art contest. Like, what are they going to do about it? Bro, I see amazing potential of what they could possibly do for like their version of like version of uh, version 2.4 for honkai star rail they can find a way to top the ethereum wars if they actually make this fan art program like an actual gameplay mechanic inside of the game because imagine if you were able to like go to like the hoyo well let me i'm getting ahead of myself imagine with the hoyo bear and the fan arc event and everything that's going on what if they take like every single top fan art that everybody that likes that's like Honkai Star Rail related and then they take those art after they come combine together with the artists of course and they take those art and then they put it together like in this Grand Prix thing for like skins for Honkai Star Rail and then with the event for like the Grand Prix they can have it like something like this which is like F099 that was on Nintendo that you guys may have not noticed like they can take something like this Take like the player base that's in each and every single specific server. Like you have the American servers, they have their own F0 zone. You take the Europeans, they have their own one. ZN, they have their own F0 zone. And then you're racing in like the galactic area that you're able to see like Urillo 6 in the background. You're able to see the Gianjo in the background. Like there's four different stages that you're able to go through, like a Urillo stage, a uh, Gianjo stage, a Pinnacone stage, a Herd of Space Station stage. Kind of like Mario Kart in the way that you're going through each of these specific zones and you're racing in order to go become number one. And based off of you win first, second, or third place, you're able to accumulate points that you're able to spend 
in order to get these specific skins. Hold up, let me see where that with it. Like these specific skins and stuff that's down here, that I can't really find them myself on where all the skins and stuff are located for where the fan art is at. But that could be a pretty cool idea of what they can do in order to one up version 1.4. Like have a big old Grand Prix story that people actually really like to play Mario Kart. Cause look at Mario Kart 8. That game been out for like a decade by now and people are still buying the DLC for that game. So if they take something like this and put it implemented into Honkai Star Rail, like with these racing events and stuff that's down here, so like you can pick like Argenti to be your racer, you can pick Asta to be your racer, you can pick Herda, Welt, Pe who's that Pela back there? Yeah, you can pick Pela back there, pretty much you can just pick any character that you want. And you can choose that as your racer as you're going through the zone. And then once you win, you're able to get the skins that the players themselves liked. Like, well, the players themselves like with the Hoyoverse fan art event, that they like that the most. And then they implement those skins into the game for their specific character that you want. Or you can straight out just buy it out as soon as you want it for like 15 to 20 dollars if you just want, don't want to do the racing and you just want the skin itself. And one idea I also have about, about it, and I'm pretty sure they're not probably gonna do that as well, is that with the Hoyoverse with the fan art skins. <laughs> this would be pretty cool if they do that. Like for any of you artists out there to actually get your work accepted if this event idea that I have go through and they actually accept your work, they give you like a piece of the pie as well for like royalties or something. Like I know they're probably not gonna do that because Hoyoverse is a company at the end of the day and they want to make money. I know they're not gonna do that. That would be pretty cool though if they do something like that. So they probably won't do the Hoyo Fair idea that I have because that's a bunch of like legal drama they are gonna have to go through. Like I said, like royalties, they gonna have to have somebody create like their own like PayPal or whatever it is. So they have to keep following more money from them and siphoning money out the business, kind of like with a business expense and stuff like that. So they probably won't do stuff like that. But that's just like a crazy idea that I have of what they could possibly do to be able to one up version 1.4 of Honkai Star Rail because the Ethereum Wars at this point is still honestly the best event they ever did in Honkai Star Rail and the only thing they can actually top it is once again with this F0, like F099 event that Nintendo did if they took this and Honkai Star Rail it and you're going through like four stages at the start like they have a Herdus Space Station stage they have a Shianjo stage they have a Pinnacony stage and they have a Euro 6 stage. Like they have those four stages at first. Then as the game keeps going on, they add more and more stages that you're able to do in order to get up currency and you're able to buy specific skins that they create for the characters that's in the racing. Like Argenti will have a skin that makes his old, he actually is in his race attire. Um, uh, where is it? Mm, there's somebody else in here that I saw. Is that Luca? Yeah, Luca can have this skin right here. Yeah, yeah, Luca, Luca right here. I'm, I'm blocking him, my big head. Like, Luca right here. He can have this skin, and you can buy this skin off of Luca for, like, racing multiple times, so you can just straight up just buy it for $15 or $20. Like, that would be a pretty cool idea if they can do something like that. Well, I just wanted to go ahead and get my point across on that because that was an idea that I had in the back of my mind, and then... This Hoyoverse Fair event thing that came out like a long time ago and I kept seeing like ads for it over and over and over again. And then Wuthering Waves came out so I really couldn't talk about it anymore. I just had to throw it back there and I can't really have it out anymore. But I'm going to stop talking. I'm kind of talking in a circle real quick. It's your boy Sin. I'm going to go ahead and head out. So yeah, um, see ya.